Hi, everybody. This is Mystic Virgo. I am here uh, capping off the evening with a collective read for you all. I hope you all have pulled up the readings that I put out last night and tonight for all the, tonight <clears throat> for all the signs. So I just want to see if I can tap into your energy collectively to see what messages I have for you all. I have here starting out with the Ten of Pentacles here. Uh, success, a happy family, a, a happy and uh, contented home life for you coming, or if you're not already in it right now here, okay? I also probably taking care of an elderly parent or something like that, okay? Something of your concern. Give me messages for the collective here. I have the Hermit card. Okay, and you're probably, you're probably thinking different thoughts, like reminiscing about the things that you share with your family, uh, happy moments, uh, different things like that, okay? Or either you're in a situation like I'm in, my mother's in the hospital, you all, she's, she has dementia, okay? So I'm having here, I'm the hermit, I'm, I'm a Virgo, <clears throat> so maybe you're, you're reflecting with, with your parents or reflecting with your, with your siblings, memories, Memories that are necessary for happiness here. We have Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Happiness, okay? Uh, just reflecting back on the good that you shared. And you want your, your person uh, to be happy in their life, okay? Male or female, take it how it resonates with you. Reflecting for the benefit of the people that you love. Reflecting on the good memories that you shared with people that you love, okay? Because we have here the Ten of Pentacles, happy family here, but we also have the Ten of Cups here, which is happy family. Reminiscing, thinking about days that have that, that have gone on, the people who have gone on. Uh, just memories to keep, to keep that person thinking, to keep the person's mind moving, which is what I was doing today with my mother when I visited her here. We have the Alchemist. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was talking to my mother about the Bible, the books of the Bible. She taught us all the books of the, the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, the Ten Commandments, the Beatitudes, and all of that stuff. I was asking her all of those different questions, reflecting back on what she taught me. And now I'm reflecting and, and not teaching her, but trying to pick her brain to see what it is that she remembers. Okay? That kind of stuff. Okay? Remembering what you, what you learned and, and teaching it to others or reminding others of their worth or their contribution to what made you okay and then we have the five of wands conflicted okay conflicted in your mind your energy maybe some people in and uh, situations around you because you may be going through some changes there's some major changes going on for you okay and i have here the the nine of pentacles here uh focus yes but worried uh having this wisdom though to 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 move forward or wanting to move forward in your life, okay? Really, really paying a lot of attention, really paying a lot of attention to what's around you and to the things that are going on like right now. Very focused about on the right now, but also worried about what you don't see, okay? We have the Princess of Swords here. I need to do something. I need to fix. It's like you want to do something. You want to fix things here. Collective. But certain things you can't fix. You just have to leave it up to the universe. Okay. Different coping mechanism, mechanisms you can do. But you can't fix everything. Okay. I have for the full card. What can I do? How can I fix this? What kind of approach? I need to take a leap of faith and I need to fix this. Sometimes... Going into hermit mode and thinking about fixing something, it just not, it's just not feasible. It's just not in the best interest at the time because this is how it needs to be, okay? You may want to fix it. Sometimes you just can't. It's like you can look for recipes or you can look for ways to fix things or you can look at uh, a YouTube video on how to fix a broken leg on your chair or table or whatever, but sometimes some things just aren't meant to be fixed. You just have to live with it, okay? Just have to live with it. Clarify the Ten of Cups here. I'm sorry if I keep hitting the table, y'all. The microphone. I'm sorry about that. Ten of Cups for the collective here. Ten of Cups. The Princess of Wands. Um, I want to make things right. I want to fix things. But you can't, no matter how much you want to try to fix things, you can help, you can offer as much help and, and 
as much comfort as you want to, but certain things can't be helped, can't be fixed, okay? And I have for the Six of Wands here. Support. You can be a support system for this person, or they can be a support system to you. Or if you need support, um, talk to somebody about it. You know, here I have the King of Cups. Maybe you need to talk to somebody, okay? Um, I don't know how I'm going to fix this. I'm worried about this particular person. I'm worried about this project, but I don't know... Uh, how to how to cope with this you know uh talk to someone get some help so they can feel your cup of love and here you have a will things change the more they change the more they stay the same but you have to realize with you wanting to take that leap of faith and as much as hard as you want to fix this you can't okay whatever the situation is as much as you want to do to fix it you may want to change some things here collective or whatever it is you want to do um you can't uh you can't it's like what god has already ordained there's nothing you can do about it okay and we have a chariot move forward positive movement forward keep your head up keep your head held high your head held high and keep your shoulder available for others to lean on you okay because they're going to need your support and you're probably the strongest person in your family. I have here that Ace of Pentacles. You have a lot to offer. You may not think that you have a lot to offer to others, but you do. They look to you uh, as a guiding tool. They look to you as being the family compass. And they value your opinion, whether you realize it or not. Because what you have to offer is very, very valuable. Okay, Don't sell yourself short because of what you're worried about. Okay? sign card you're gonna have some very very happy um things to remember uh happy things that's going to push you into action to where you say look okay i know that that I, I'm, I'm a strong leader i gotta do what i gotta do i'm gonna be there for you every step of the way we have the king of cups but at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of cups okay working together at this trying to figure it out getting with family members or our close close friend or whoever that's going to help come to your aid and help you when somebody comes to your aid and helps you it's going to leave you wide open to help others because you have your you have your um your strength here to help you um almost as if you don't know your your true glory but it's there for you you just need some reassurance from your friends or family or, or the universe somebody to pat you on the back and say despite what you're going through you're doing a good job okay Definitely a lot of blessings here with this Ace of Wands, able to help people with what they feel, probably help somebody out financially, give this person a shoulder to lean on, to cry on, to, to just mess your shirt up with their salty tears, but that's okay because you're the Ace of Wands and you can handle it. You're going to lead somebody to a place to where they can lay their head and rest, even if it's for eight hours straight. And this person, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be, this person's going to be happier for it, Okay. They're going to be more at ease and at peace because you help them, okay? And you talk to them, communicate it. I haven't heard from you in a long time. How come I haven't heard from you? You haven't called me. You haven't texted me. What the heck is going on? Are you okay? Is everybody in the family okay? Just a shoulder to, to talk to. And Seven of Pentacles, a lot of things on your mind. Um, probably have to, have to learn how to let some things go, bury a few things that no longer serve you, like... You know, not kill them, not just just find a way to to not have to let stuff worry you and bother you so much. You know, um, it, it's, it's almost as, as if the universe is telling you to look up. OK, because I'm always there around you. Just look up and pay attention and know that that your spirit guides, your angels. God is always around you. OK, always. And I have here the two of wands. OK, your future here. I want to be better. I wish I can get back yesterday. Yesterday is not promised. That's why they call today the present. Is that what is that how the saying goes? You go, you get what I mean, okay? Wanting things to be better for you. Uh, things change. People change. Situations change, and that's you probably aren't good with change, okay? And we have for the moon card. You're not good because you don't know what change. You don't know what change brings. But you do know what yesterday did to you. You would much rather repeat stuff over and over again than 
not know what's going on for the future. And that's what's hurting you right now. Uh, be stronger. Stand up in your emperor or your empress power. Uh, having this strength. But also being a little hurt right now um, because of, of what you can't fix. You are crying here over three of cups. I'm sorry, this is five of cups. I'm thinking about the five of... Uh, what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about the five of cups for some reason. But anyway, the five of swords here. You're letting, you're being defeated by what you can't change. But you have to be encouraged about the things that you can. And what you can change right, right now is your state of mind. You can't change what's going on right now. You can't fix what's broken. Okay, but you can work on yourself. The universe is saying, I'm giving you some time right now. You need some time. You need a break. You need to stop thinking so heavily about what's holding you down, what's bogging you down. You need to go out a little bit, have a little fun, find you a favorite quote, read the favorite your favorite verse in the Bible. Do whatever you do to make yourself feel better, okay? You're worried so much about the past, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but you have to remember that you still have blessings yet to be seen, yet to behold. Uh, yet to be talked about memories yet to be made because you're really really focused on what you see right now okay or what the memories that you used to share in your life okay okay collective okay universe give me some more reading here for the collective what other messages do you have for me to to pass on for the collective here Collective reading. I have here the Hermit card popped out again. Okay, Virgo energy here. What are you focusing on here for this energy? For the collective worries. Nine of Swords. Something is keeping you up at night. Um, clarify this Hermit card for the collective here. What are you focusing on here? Collective. That's too many. I have the King of Wands, the Princess of Cups, and the Emperor. Hmm. So you're worried about something. Okay. Um, okay, this is what I'm getting. <laughs> okay. For the collective, you have something going on, okay? Maybe a family issue going on. Because you're in Hermit mode, you're stuck, and you got the Nine of Swords that's keeping you up at night. You have the King of Wands, which is that the person who's really, really thinking about stuff. Holding down the family business ideas, maybe holding down the money or whatever. Then you got the prince, of, the princess of cups that thinks she know every damn thing. And then you got the emperor. I'm gonna run this shit. Screw what the king of wands say. Screw what the, the princess of cups say. You got the chief, you got the cook, and you got the bottle washer. But all three of them want to be the big boss, want to take care of the business. And we got the hermit here worrying at night all night long, being analytical and trying to figure out. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the one in charge. So you got the hermit who's very analytical. You got the king of wands who think they know every damn thing. You got the prince of cups that think that she or he take it how it resonates. They gonna be who they wanna be and they gonna get shit the way they want. But then you then you got the emperor. Okay, he wants to be in charge, but he is so afraid of the outcome. He's afraid of the outcome. Okay, he doesn't want to. He doesn't like to sweat. He doesn't like to cry. So he wants to keep this shit bottled in. But the only person who really got the four one one is the hermit. The hermit is on point. The hermit got to figure out what the hell they gonna do. They gonna figure out all of this crap. I'm gonna be the one to figure out this. I'm gonna be the one to solve this problem. Okay. Okay, collector. What more messages do I have for you? For the, let me clarify the king of wands. What is on this king of wands mind? What is the King of Wands thinking about? The Prince of Pentacles. Prince of Cups, clarify. The Four of Cups, just what I thought. <laughs> clarify the Emperor here for the Collective here. Okay, give me your energy. Give me your overall energy here. Overall energy for this unit here the hangman still hung up in the situation and i got this book two cards i have the prince of sort that wants to come out and i have the lovers that wants to come out okay um it looks like the king of wands really really wants to try hard 
at trying to figure out how to help with this situation, this family issue or business issue or whatever it is, but they think so doggone hard that they lose sight of the true picture of, of, of what's going on, the true nature, and they pawn their worries off and their duties off on somebody else. So somebody in your family unit or friends or whatever, they mean well, okay? But they put so much thought into it that they lose track of what's going on and they pin, they put put it off on somebody else to, for somebody else to handle, okay? Then we got Miss Queenie Pooh here, or King, take it how it resonates. They mean well too, you know? They think that they can do everything because they're younger and they're more attractive and hey, I, I, I can take the bulls by the horn, the bull by the horns. But when it comes to it, with these four of cups, they, they, they back out. They, they cry too easy. You know, they are the person that punks out, the person that probably passes out at the sight of blood. I can't take this no more. I got to go. And they back up and they let it go. They don't, they don't do what they're supposed to do. And they mean well, but they just, they just punk, punk out at the end of the, at the, at the, at the door. They don't go in because they're afraid of the sight of blood. They don't want to like, they don't like to fail. Okay, they will much rather for somebody else to do it. They'll get to that door, but they'll change their their mind at the last minute. Okay, then we have Mr. Emperor here. Big boss, the big boss in charge, the big brother, the big sister, the oldest person in the family. Okay, think that they know a lot of shit. They don't know jack. Okay, this person probably keeps them themselves away from the family unit or the job if this is a family business and they don't come around unless something is wrong or if they get a phone call and say, well, we need you here. They may come, but they still have their back turned. They may still be standoffish, okay? This person loves very, very deeply. They love very, very hard. They don't know how to handle their emotions very well because if you if the hermit left it up to any of these people, the chief, the, the cook, and the bottle washer, this bottle washer here ain't gonna do nothing but mess things up. They ain't going to do nothing but F things up. They're going to try their best, but this is the result of what they're going to do. They're going to mess it up because they don't have, don't know how to handle their emotions. Okay? So, we have the Hanged Man, the Prince of Swords, and the Lovers. A Virgo, well, I'm a Virgo, but the Hermit here, which is this energy here, can handle just about anything that comes the way. The Chief Cook and the Bottle Washer hung up in their heads, want to think they're going to run a world with this Prince of Swords and the lover's card. They love hard. They love very, very deeply, but they don't know what the hell they want. Okay? They don't know what they want. It's like they mean well, you all, but when it comes to them helping out and, and doing their part, they just falter. And it's no fault of their own. This is just how they are. But we're going to tap into this Hermit energy. If Hermit had their way, if the Hermit had their way, and, and with this nine of, of source energy, what do we have? We have here the two of pentacles. I'm gonna fix this, okay? We have the chief cook and the pop, the pop, the chief cook and the bottle washer going topsy turvy on us. So we gotta figure out how to balance this stuff out even. And I'm gonna make sure that everything is cool and everybody is happy and everybody needs to be where they're gonna be. You got somebody who's gonna cook dinner for the whole family. They're gonna lay out placemats. They're gonna have the chief there. They're gonna have a cook there. And they're gonna have a bottle washer sitting, <laughs> sitting at, the, at the little kids table sipping on, on apple juice, okay? Because they don't know how to handle real grown-up food and grown-up drink. Okay? They may think they are the emperor, but the hermit says otherwise. You need some 2% milk, you can't handle the whole milk. That kind of stuff. The hermit is going to go in and handle this. Okay? I'm going to handle this toxicity, and we're going to do this right. I'm going to fix what you messed up. Okay? I'm going to clean up what you messed up. Okay? That's what I'm saying. And we have here the Prince of Swords. And we're going to have here the King of Swords. Okay, look. And we're going to have here the Three of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. And we have the, the Six of Swords. So, we got the uh, Hermit is in charge, okay? <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, we got Two of, two of Cups. Nonetheless... So we got the hermit that's going to handle this toxic situation that the chief cook bottle washer contributed to, okay? The the hermit, okay, whoever this resonates to, 
is a great business leader. They're going to plan, organize, lead, and control the situation. They're going to plan. They're going to get their they peons together who's going to help pull this thing off. They're going to lead and control. They're going to sit their butts down and justify everything that they're doing. The, the assignments, the meal assignments, the tables, the, the, the what you're going to eat for dinner, what you're going to eat for desserts. Make sure you don't forget to give that emperor some apple some applesauce. <laughs> but yeah, they're gonna the, the, the Herman is gonna plan, organize, lead, and control. And they're going to make sure the ships run smoothly. And when when the the Hermit speaks, people listen and shit gets done. People actually do what the hell they're supposed to do. And they happy, they they make love, they have arrangements set up the right way, people are have the right the right place settings at their table. They get together and they go on family cruises and family trip, field trips to the local museum. Everything. The, the the hermit don't take no mess. Okay? We got all these chiefs and not enough Indians. And the hermit, Virgo, knows how to deal with this stuff. Very analytical. Very, very detail-oriented. Knows how knows how to plan, organize, lead, and control in the best way in the best way possible. Okay? Clarify more on this hermit card. What is going on in their mind with this situation? Four of Wands. Ace of Cups. All good stuff here. Okay. Nine of Swords. The Prince of Swords. The High. The King of Swords. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Swords, okay? So we have the Hermit, who is always leading and in, in, in control. We have the Four of Wands that's going to lead to happiness. That's going to be, thank you so much. I know that you can come in. I know that you can fix this with your skills. I know that you're very, very detail-oriented, so things are going just right, okay? But the typical Hermit is going to always worry that their plans aren't being carried out the way they want to, okay? So I'm going to send, I'm going to see Auntie Glenda or Auntie auntie macy over there to see what the heck is going on to see if this king of swords is doing what they're supposed to be doing because if the king is king of swords not doing what he's supposed to be doing like i told him to planning organizing and leading in control then i'm gonna see the queen i'm gonna see i'm going to send the queen bee over there and she just gonna stand there and watch and all she gotta do is look at you a certain way and you know you gotta get that stuff together okay the hermit ain't pulling out no punches on this situation because in the end the hermit wants peace in the family okay wants to make beautiful memories with the family and wants to be very very happy with the family you gotta do it right and it's not gonna be done right unless the hermit say let's go because if the hermit get to you and curse you out and call you all kind of names because you messed up their vision this is just what's going to happen to you okay i hope it resonates even just a little bit you all thank you for watching thank you for being very very supportive of my channel here and i guess I will call it a night and I will talk to you all soon.